Hey, this is Chris Dewey, and you've indicated that you have a Medicare supplement plan right now. Maybe paying too much, uh, you want to compare and see what's out there, see what uh, rates and premiums are lower in the market. You really should do this at least every two years, if not sooner. You can change your Medicare supplement any time of year you want. It's not limited to October to December like those Medicare Advantage plans. With a supplement, anytime your health can qualify you to change, you can. Unless you're in a state that has unique rules like, say, California. Uh, California has the birthday rule where you can enroll in a uh, 60 days before your birthday and 60 days after your birthday. You can enroll in a equal or lesser plan. Uh, without any underwriting. Same with Oregon, Washington, Missouri. They have all unique rules. New York, Vermont, Connecticut. Hell, you can you can enroll. You can change plans anytime of year you want with no health questions asked, no underwriting. So, outside of those areas, the majority of the country, you got to go through health underwriting. The real not it's health questions, not an exam. Just questions to ask if you're healthy enough you know, for their criteria. They'll, they'll also ask what drugs you take to make sure they're not on their naughty list. Every company's got a different list of banned drugs. Typically, when we get a decline from underwriting, it's not a no, but it's a, it's a not right now. If you've had a recent heart attack or a stroke or cancer or something like that, there's a typical time frame that has to have elapsed from the time you had your last treatment. Like if you're cancer free for five years, you should be fine. Uh, if you got if you had a stroke longer than three years ago, we're good. Heart attack more than four years ago, you should be fine with most companies. So it's um, it's really it's on a case by case basis, which we go over with you. So if you're looking to change from a Medicare supplement to a Medicare supplement, and you don't live in one of those guaranteed issue states like California, Oregon, Washington, uh, Missouri, New York, Connecticut, or Vermont then we need to ask you some health questions, and we're happy to do so to pinpoint which company is going to have the lowest premium for you based on the drugs you take and your health conditions. So uh, what we'll need below this video in the, in the um, form here, just, just give me your age, your zip code, because the supplement rates are based on your zip code, your geography. Uh, we need your current age. Uh, we need, if, if tell us what plan you're on. If you're on the plan F, let us know, uh, plan N, plan G, what plan you're interested in, and we'll run the quotes for you. When we call you back, it's going to come from an 843 number. That's me. Keep in mind, the info that goes on the form below goes to no one but me. We don't sell the info. We don't call you 100 times. We just don't have the people to do that. Uh, again, the second thing is understand there is no finite time period to make a change from a Medicare supplement to a Medicare supplement. You can change 365 days a year anytime you want to make that change. There's no rush to go from one good Medicare supplement, which is great coverage, to another Medicare supplement, all right? We do want to look at it every opportunity we can to save you money by getting you on, A, the right carrier for your location that's doing well these days, and, and B, get you on the right plan letter. But if you have a plan F, which is a very common question, if you have the plan F, you don't have to give it up. You can keep your plan F. If you love your plan F, let us shop out that plan F and look at other companies. Let's say you got ARP, plan F, you're paying $200 a month. Let us shop it out and see if we can get you a plan F for $140, $150 with Aetna or Cigna or one of the better priced supplement companies out there. But again, if you, were, if you were enrolled in Medicare before January 1st of 2020, even if you don't have the plan, if you can still enroll in it, the, the rates are not that advantageous. I have not sold a plan F in many years. It would not be, it's just not right for our clients. But if, you've, if you just feel for whatever reasons you want to keep it, by all means, go ahead. Okay, so one last thing. When you're comparing Medigap, Medigap means the same thing as Medicare Supplement. There can be big differences, and this, guys, is right off the 2019, and we have the 2020 coming up, choosing a Medigap policy, a guide to health insurance for people with Medicare, straight from CMS. So what does it say? There can be big differences in the premiums that different insurance companies charge for exactly the same policy. And then it goes on to say different. insurance companies may charge different premiums for the exact same policy. As you shop for a policy, be sure to compare 
the same letter, right? For advanced, so if you're doing an A, you compare an A. If you do a plan N, a plan N. So if we look down here, so let's let's see me in action here. We're, I'm licensed in numerous other states. Actually, most of my uh, most of the work I do is out of state, out of my area. But let's just take a look at my area, Beaufort, Hilton Head, Bluffton area, Beaufort County, South Carolina. You got a 73-year-old female, doesn't smoke. We'll just go with a popular plan G, pays everything except the 198 deductible. So leave your checkbook at home. Uh, in our area, and it's based on zip code, it's based on geography. Humana, 116.83. Now, if we go down, we can see other companies like Cigna's 146, ARP's 148. Uh, that's a different Humana plan. I don't know why they would, uh, I go with a lower one. Um, uh, United World, 158. Blue Cross Blue Shield, yay for them, huh? 172 a month. And if you've had it for a few years, it's far more than that. So there are vast differences in premiums for the exact same standardized plan G. Now, let's just take a look at diabetes. Let's just throw diabetes here. This underwriting software is incredible. So it doesn't, I can get the, uh, it says no underwriting information on this time, but a lot of them, listen, if you have currently three or more medications, if you have more than three or more medications, they're not going to take you. If you do, you're all right. All right. Let's look at uh, Aetna, uh, diabetes, they're not going to accept you if you have diabetes. All right. Now, Ascendo, another Aetna product, they're okay with it. One year medication changed. Because of uncontrolled, as long as you've been on the same medication, because of uncontrolled blood, blood sugar for a year, you're okay. All right? Uh, more than two oral medications, Manhattan Life will accept you. If you have two or less, they'll take you. All right? Uh, let's see here. So there's look back periods. Five years. So Medica will accept you if, you've been, if, you've, if it's been under control and you've taken diabetic medication for five years. So my point is, guys, thanks for letting us help you. Keep in mind, the form below is a secure, encrypted form. The information is 100% secure. Your information is not going to be given to anybody or sold. It's just me and a few support staff and our in-house Social Security attorney. So don't worry about that. All right? The form below, the more detailed you can you can get, the better. Do you have a, you know, what type letter plan do you have? Is it the N? Is it the G? You know, tell us how much you're paying. The more detailed you, details you can give us, the better that we can service you. All right? Have a great day. Bye-bye.